Hi everyone, uh, welcome. Welcome to the first Uber Freight Tech Talk. We're really excited to have you guys here. We have a fun evening packed with some awesome content from the Uber Freight Tech team. Uh, my name is Jing Feng. I'm a product manager here with the Carrier Experience team at Uber Freight. So today I'm just gonna give you guys a quick intro about Uber Freight and what is that we do and the business we're in. I'm sure everyone here is familiar with Uber, you know what Uber does. But maybe just a quick show of hands. How many of you guys know what Uber Freight is before coming to this tech talk? Okay, we have a few hands. It's pretty good. Um, so this is my job here today to give you guys an overview of what is that we do. To start, maybe it makes sense to just talk about how Uber has evolved throughout the years. So you guys all know we started with the ride sharing business. So we started with the very simple mission of moving people. And as time goes by, with the introduction of Uber Eats and Uber Rush, we expanded our service offering to not just move people, but also move things. And now we want to move bigger things. So here comes Uber Freight. So Uber Freight is a new business line inside Uber family that's focused on the trucking industry. So what is this trucking industry and why is Uber working on that? So trucking is a massive opportunity area with a lot of potential, with a lot of improvements that we can make it to. To put things in numbers, so it's easier to understand how big of a market we're talking about. So in 2014, truck transportation contribute to 0.8% of overall US GDP. Put things a little bit more in perspective, I think you guys all know how hyped the whole ride sharing world is and how all the stop, startup within the business have ridiculously high evaluation. But if you look at the number, the transit and ground passenger transportation contribute to 0.17% of the US GDP, which is a little bit over one fifth of the trucking industry. So we're talking about five sides of the ride sharing business. It's a 726 billion business industry that we're trying to tackle. So now we've established this is a huge opportunity area. What does the marketplace look like? Who are the players inside the marketplace? So I'm trying to explain this in sort of a traditional Uber supply and demand marketplace model. So on the left side, we have what we call demand, which are our shippers. So ranging from those Fortune 500 company who needs to move their cargo around the world every day, to the small mom and pop shops who maybe do one or two deliveries every week. And on the right side, we have our carriers who are essentially the truck drivers who um, make a living out of moving cargoes on their trucks every day. So we have the demand, we have the supply. And how do they find each other? How does that work? How do the shippers find the truck drivers to move their loads? And how does the carriers find the loads that they can move? So some of the bigger companies have their designated fleet drivers. So they have a whole department of fleet driver that just move their company loads. But majority of the loads are actually moved through what we call this middleman row here, the brokers. If you look at the past 30 years from like a efficiency perspective, we've seen other side of the transportation business improved significantly. Both railway and air has doubled and, and more their efficiency per, per employee. But the trucking business has kind of remained flat for a long time. And here comes Uber Freight. What we're here to do is to bring the Uber magic to freight. And earlier this year, we launched our Uber Freight app. So it's a free app that the drivers can use. They can look at all the available loads 
and with a tap of a button, they can book that load. Within seven days, they will get paid for the load they delivered. Truck drivers are at the heart of Uber Freight's business. They are Uber Freight's target demographic. We're truly driver-focused. We put drivers first. What does that mean? I, I don't know if you guys have any experience working with truck drivers or have heard stories about them. They're not living a very easy life. So they're on the road most of the time, driving hours every day away from their family by themselves. And they have to deal with this very broken, inefficient system, which is filled with pain points. So Uber Freight truly believes that empowering drivers is the best way to enable the success of the freight ecosystem. So throughout the whole presentation today, you're going to hear a lot of examples about how we really listen to drivers' pain points and frustration and work on delivering a product that fulfilled, that addressed these pain points and optimizing for the best carrier experience as possible. Just to give you guys a sneak peek, here is a feature that the team has worked on earlier this year um, called Take Me Home. Since 1989, I think I've driven over 3 million miles. The hardest part of the job is being away from the family. I constantly miss things because I'm out on the road. Last year, for the holidays, I couldn't get back to see my son before he left to go back to college. It's things like that that he misses that he shouldn't have to. I would love it if Frank could be home more. That's one of the biggest things I regret in life, not being there for all those moments. Uber Freight said, well, what's one thing we could do for you? And I said, get me home. And they went and created a feature called Take Me Home. They'll get me a load out, and they'll find me a load that brings me home. It's all about family. That's the sole reason I do what I do. I'm Frank Lovell. I know that Uber Freight will take me home. Cool. Um, I hope that uh, intro was helpful. So that was just a really high level overview of what we do in the business we're in. Throughout the tech talk, we're going to go into more details about how the um, load moves through our ecosystem.